It's been 18 months since Alexander held a weapon. When Russia launched its full-scale invasion in February 2022, Alexander fought them in Chernihiv. But, he says, a year into the war, he handed his weapons to his commander and left. My brother is schizophrenic. His condition has become dangerous. He had even become a threat to my neighbours, so I went home. Apart from my brother and mother, I have no one else. Alexander had no legal way to apply to go. His commander had to report him for absence without leave, something which at the time could have put Alexander in prison for up to 10 years. And it's not just him. Cases of absence without leave have tripled so far this year. In August, the Ukrainian parliament decriminalized the offense for first-time offenders, if they return to fight. That includes Alexander. Now he's trying to join the 47th Brigade, which is actively reaching out to deserters, telling them it's OK to make mistakes and that the brigade would welcome them back. Lawyer Oksana Dehoter often represents such runaway soldiers. She says she's heard it all. Men who knew they were being sent to their deaths, men who had breakdowns, men who simply wanted to go home after two years on the front. Decriminalization, she says, was the only option. There was such a large number of these crimes, abandoning a military unit and desertion, that they did not have time to process all of them. Sergei's case has made it to this court in Kyiv. He was caught during a random documents check over a year after he'd left his position on the front line. He was serving in the artillery unit in Kramatorsk, struggling with chronic back pain. Then he heard his wife wanted a divorce and he walked away from his unit. For a year, he stayed in a church and worked odd jobs. He didn't tell his mother that he had deserted. When the police stopped and arrested him, he did not resist. I'm not a robber, not a bandit, not a murderer. Now I will go to fight. To be honest, I have no regrets. I lived a little. And now my one wish is to see my mother and sister. The judge grants Sergei permission to rejoin the military and avoid prosecution. He must return within 72 hours. He tells us why he thinks so many people leave. The command, they don't care. They don't go to the front line with us. They stay far away from us. Only a few go with their unit. I'm only returning for my family. These are the only people I really go back to war for. I don't worry about myself. I don't want them to worry. On the front lines, desertion is an uncomfortable subject. Uh, Leaving your unit is a stigma for a military man. Whatever task is assigned to a unit, we have to carry it out. No matter if a member deserts the unit, is wounded or dies. So when our task has to be carried out by a smaller number of people, we feel the pressure. Officers agree that things need to change. They tell us more periods of leave, more medical attention and better communication will help.